Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, I am Naquan Jordan, the AI protagonist, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a text-to-music and image-to-music software known as Mubert. So Mubert is not just a software, it's the actual community as you can see. There is a ton of songs created by various users and you can actually go through, check out all of them, listen to all the different artists, all the different styles. Or if you find something you like, you can download it and you can remix it using these buttons as well. You can see here the actual text that they used for each of their songs. And so it is a great way to just figure out how they were able to make these songs and use that information to make your own songs. So it works very similar to the big uh, text to image uh, community sites that we have except it's all based around generating music. So if we go to my generated tracks, you can see all the different tracks that I've made. And the way you do it is very simple. You just type in here anything you want. As you can see, type anything in English and it will use that information to create a song. Now, if you want to use like a image, you just click on this button here click on upload and you will actually upload um they'll let you browse so you can upload an image and then just use whatever you like uh, i did use some of these images and i have to say the results were really good I'll, I'll show you some of that later on if you want a easier way to do it you can just click one of these three buttons here they have genres if i were to click on one and click something like ambient you can see that it already puts in some text in the box and then you would just choose if you want to track, loop, mix, or jingle. Choose the duration and then click generate track and you would generate your song. Very, very easy to do. They give you several options to create music. Now I want you to listen to some of the music that I've made. It's actually really good. It's a very nice software. We're going to start off with some of the text to music. I'll just, um, I'll have two of them play. And then after that, we will go through some of the image to music generations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute my mic and just let you listen to some of them. So that is the quality of music that you get from this software. So you can listen at around uh, the 15 second mark. Uh, just about every 15 seconds there is a Mubert sound effect in there. That is of course to keep them from uh, people actually stealing the music. But once you download a song, that will be taken out of it. So you won't have to worry about that. So now when it comes to the image to music, um, I got some very interesting results. So how I'm gonna do this is I'm going to put the actual image on the screen so you can look at it and then play the music behind the image so you can see um, what kind of music that image generated. So I'm gonna mute my mic again and we'll go ahead and listen to some more music. Mu 
Moo Birds. Moo Birds. Moo Birds. Moo Birds. Moo Birds. So I will go ahead and stop it right there. So I have absolutely no idea how it is taking the information from the image and turning it into music, but I have to admit, I really like the results, um, especially with the uh, that last one, which was just an image of like a futuristic car, uh, something that I made for one of my previous videos. And that did sound kind of like a cyberpunky type beat to it maybe something that you would hear in a cyberpunk bar or a um, club or something like that and the other ones are really good as well so i'm not entirely sure how it's working but it is working now i will keep uh let you know that once you do decide to create something from text or from an image it does work similar to the image generators where it's like even if you put the exact same input Every time it will generate something different. So it won't be the exact same song. You may want to generate a few different times to get the song that you like, which is very similar to generating images. It's pretty much, pretty much works the same. So the way things work here, as far as prices, we'll take a look at them. So they do have the ambassador account, which is free. It lets you put your um, your music generations on various places, just as long as you have a link pointing back to Mubert. And then, of course, they have a bunch of different uh, membership levels, each one with different perks. If you go to the downloads, um, I did a little bit of test run here. When you try to download something up, oh, let me go back. When you try to download something, it will tell you to put a link to Mubert in whatever description or comment that you're putting it on. You will have to actually send them a link to your profile. So like if I wanted to put this on YouTube, it will ask where am I putting the song and I would just give them a link to my YouTube channel. So that way they can see how I'm using it and there won't be any issues. Now I left everything at 45 seconds just for the sake of the video, but you can of course change the time for each song. So that is pretty much it for Mew Bird. I highly recommend it. It was a lot of fun uh, creating these songs. As a free member, you can create 25 songs per month. And so go ahead, create your free account and start generating. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just go ahead, leave them in the comments below. If you're trying it out and want some tips, just, just go ahead and let me know. I'll catch you guys in the next video.